thank you. Good morning to you. Good to see everyone today. We're glad you're here this morning. If you're visiting with us, uh, you're our special guest, and we're certainly glad you've come to, to worship with us at Poplar Grove Baptist Church this morning. We welcome you. A few things let me share that's going on here. We've got a lot of things going on here, and that's great. Uh, we're hoping to move back to some kind of normality down the road. Uh, you'll see these little uh, uh, flyers as you go out. If you want to pick up one of those, that tells about what's uh, going on with the different groups here, our children's ministry, our WANA. We're starting back a WANA on the 7th, and that'll be the kickoff night. And uh, you be sure to have your child involved with the WANA. We're hoping to, to get that built back up like it was before. You know, on a Wednesday night, we had kids everywhere. Well, that's what we're uh, moving back to. We look forward to that. And we've also got something special for... Uh, the middle school and the high school. It's called Amplify. You've probably seen these hanging around. This is tremendous stuff right here for our kids. And it talks about a growing of faith that lasts. And that's so important that we get this into our children. So 6th, 7th, and 8th grade will be together. And then the high school kids. And then sometimes they'll be joining together on different ventures. And uh, but it's going to be a tremendous thing. And uh, we're going to do that with the middle school and the youth. Ladies Night Out, an annual event here that's uh, known throughout this community, actually, September the 13th, and so you need to register for that. And uh, our ladies, our busy hands lady, have spent a lot of time, a lot of hours in preparation for this, and it's, uh, it's wonderful. They're also going to have a silent auction over there as well with some uh, uh, very nice, nice stuff that you might be interested in. Now, Monday morning in the morning at 9.30, those of you who are part of God's Food Pantry, uh, we'll be gathering to, uh, to uh, pack up the boxes. And if you haven't done that yet and you're free on, on Monday morning at about 9.30, uh, just travel right up to our associational building, 2.3 tenths mile from the school. Up there on the right, you will see the Knox Associational Building. And uh, they'll be packing boxes for uh, some people in our community that, uh, that need food. What a tremendous ministry. We sponsor that, uh, that we get to be a part of. And then Wednesday, the people will come and gather those food, and you'll gather there from 8.30 uh, until about noon and hand that food out, a, a wonderful thing and uh, that we get to be a part of. So if you are not involved with that and would like to be, they would certainly welcome you, I can promise you uh, uh, that. Our men's ministry in the morning, uh, I was gone last Monday, but they had to get out another table. Isn't that a good problem to have? We just keep growing, and so... Uh, our men's ministry, and then Tuesday, our ladies' ministries. Uh, these are, are really good for our church. Now, the Awana kickoff, and we need some more of you to be involved in Awana. Your, our kids need you, and we will find something that you will like to do. I can promise you that. And there's a sign-up. You can sign up as you leave the building this morning. There's a table out there, and Miss Marvel will be there to assist you. And um, we're going to kick this off, a uh, special thing, on the 7th. And that'll be the night it'll actually start too. May not have a lesson that night, but we'll kick it off that night. So that'll be on September the 7th, okay? Everybody get that down. Have your kid here. And bring your neighbor kid. You know, there's a lot of kids in our neighborhood who, uh, who need someone like you perhaps uh, to take some interest in them. All right, I think I covered everything that we need to look at. If I forgot something, I'll uh, share it at the end of the service. How about that? But I'm glad you're here today. All right, let's all stand together and Chad. Our worship leader is going to come and lead us. Well, good morning. Let's all stand. I serve a risen Savior. He's in the world today. He lives as we sing the first and the second stanza. I serve a risen Savior. He's in the world today. I know that he is living, whatever men may say. I see his hand of mercy, I hear his voice of cheer, and just the time I need him, he's always near. He lives, he lives, Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me and talks with me along life's narrow way. He lives, he lives, salvation to I know that he is leading through all the 
stormy blast, the day of his appearing will come at last. He lives, he lives, Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me and talks with me along my narrow way. He lives, he lives, salvation to impart. You ask me how I know he lives. He lives within. My, would you be free from that burden of sin? Would you be free from the burden of sin? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. Would you or evil of victory win? There's wonderful power in the blood. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power. precious blood of the Lamb. Would you do service for Jesus, your King? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. Would you live daily His praises to sing? There's wonderful power in the blood. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the press. Sing that chorus one more time. Sing it loud. There is power. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Man, you may be seated as we go to the Lord in prayer. Let me direct your prayer thoughts. Uh, continue remember Ashley Adams, if you would, in your prayers. Glenn Baker, uh, Karen Bowman, uh, Victor Bramlett. Victor is doing better, and we rejoice with that. And let's pray he'll continue to recover and be able to pastor his church there in Bardstown. He's doing a wonderful job uh, there. Patricia Brumley, Lloyd Carter, uh, Beverly. I never can get the last name right. Help me, Greg. Chevalier, thank you. His wife will be, she's going tomorrow to find out about her surgery, so you remember Miss Beverly, if you would, when you uh, pray. Uh, Cheryl Ellis, uh, R.B. Engel, uh, Linda Ferris, remember her, Pat Fox, and also Judy Fox, Amanda Gaddis, uh, Jerry and Pat Greer, uh, Louise Hensley, uh, Margaret Hopkins, uh, that's Karen Bowman's mom, remember her, Matthew Ivey, uh, Wanda Keith, uh, Laura Kennedy, Vicki Blankenship, uh, Jim and, and Teresa Crawford, um, Sherry Sams, Jean Pryor, remember Jean? Uh, Karen Prater had surgery, uh, so let's remember her and pray for a good recovery. Avery and Sharon Perry, need to remember both those folks, Nina Stevens, uh, Jamie and Jake Taylor, uh, Dennis White. Uh, also, uh, a young lady who came and spoke to our WMU ladies, uh, uh, Trisha Carnes, a uh, missionary girl, getting ready to uh, travel to a very dangerous place, and we need to remember her when we pray. And also, uh, we need to remember uh, Terry Smith. This is uh, Suzanne Eaton's uh, father. He's in a hospital in London, and her grandmother, Shirley Smith, who's Terry's mom, just was released from the hospital uh, a couple of days ago, so we need to remember them in our prayers as well. Um, as a church family, we need to remember uh, the family of Dennis Phipps, uh, uh, who has passed away, and also uh, Clara Saylor, uh, Clara Rogers Saylor, who's LaVon Rogers' sister. Uh, she passed away this past week. Her funeral will be today at uh, Arnett Steel Funeral Home in Pineville, Kentucky, and I'm going to be going up there after the service today to just be with LaVon for a few minutes. Um, he was able to be with her just uh, uh, just prior to her death, and so I'm grateful for that. Also, as we go to the Lord in prayer, and by the way, we have with us today DeMont and Kathy Drake, two of my favorite people, longtime pastors down in Florida, uh, and they're up going to East Kentucky to work up there with the disaster, and uh, 
I commend you for that, and I haven't seen them in a lot of years, so it's good to have them with us today. And I'm going to have DeMont in just a moment lead us in this prayer, if he would. But as we go to the Lord in prayer, and whatever your prayer request is today, all of us in this building have things we deal with, do we not? Every one of us. It may be something with a family, it may be job-related, uh, maybe something physical, or spiritual, emotional, whatever. We have a God who's greater than anything that we would ever have to deal with in life, and God is sufficient. But we need to remember there's about 400 Ukraine Baptist churches that have been lost uh, because of the Russian invasion there. Some of them were scattered to Germany and other places. Pastors are gone. And uh, we just certainly need to be praying for those people over there who had a place to worship. Uh, we've done an outstanding job there. About 2,300 churches, I think, in, in all. But 400, or 400 of them are gone. So there's a lot of people that's out of the church now over there, uh, out of someone to tell them about Jesus. And uh, so we need to be praying for that, that God will bring up people that to, uh, to help build that back up uh, what it uh, once was. So I'm going to ask the bot if he would, to lead us in this prayer, please. That's fine, yeah. So Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name, Father. Yes. God, when we consider who you are and what you've done for us, God, we are amazed that you care about us. And God, we thank you, God, for loving us, Lord, for sending your son down to talk to us. And God, we thank you for this church, the way that you blessed it, that you helped the Lord to come. Amen. Amen. The Bible says that Jesus humbled himself to the point of even death. Let's all stand this morning as we sing the first, second, and third stanza of the old rugged cross. On a hill far away stood an old rugged cross. He
we praise him that's why we praise him that's why we sing that's why we offer him our everything that's why we bow down and worship this king because he gave his everything because he gave his everything was the night at Golgotha in the middle of the day. Every sin was laid upon him as the Father turned away. In the silence of that moment, Jesus lifted one last cry. It is finished. Then he died. It is done. has been paid it is done provisions been made it is done the work has been completed said and is defeated the victory is won it is done some pain or past regret does your heart feel like it's breaking over shame you can't forget where the grace of God is waiting where the lamb was crucified you were forgiven when he died it is done the price has been
The work has been completed. Say the name. 